Okay, so we're now at the point where we're gonna go live in the installation, and the first thing we should do is recheck polarity. That would be the polarity of the supply. No point going through and testing our installation when live without proving, first of all, the supply authority's connection is in the right rotation line, neutral, and the earthing conductor are correct. So that's what we're gonna do at this stage here. We cannot isolate the consuming unit in this installation because there's no switch within the tails, no double pole or linked main switch isolating these tails. So therefore we're gonna enter the consumer unit with it in the off position for the main switch, but knowing the tails themselves are still live. So precautions must be taken. We've got our correct test equipment we've discussed before the video, and we discussed the reasons why we can or don't use a proving unit. And we're gonna show why you not necessarily have to use a proving unit on this test as we do it today. Consuming the cover comes off, the main switch is off, the installation is live only to the top of the double pole switch. Okay, so this part here is live. So we've still got the correct IP rating, I cannot touch the live parts, therefore we've got a minimum of IP2X or IPXXB, so I cannot touch the live parts. We're gonna see our instrument go illuminated, suggesting it's working, non-illuminated, and then illuminated. In other words, it self-checks itself, removing the need to use a proving unit. So we're gonna probe on to, first of all, the least dangerous conductor out of line and neutral. So I'm gonna probe on to the neutral conductor, and then gonna probe on to the line conductor. And we can see that the instrument is illuminated. I'm then gonna take it off the line conductor, and then off the neutral conductor. The lamps illuminated, the supply was connected. We're now going to test between the neutral and the earth bar. This time I don't expect to see the lamps illuminate. I'm going to go on the least dangerous conductor first, which is the earth bar, and onto the neutral. No illumination of the lamps. I'm going to come off my neutral and then off my earth bar. So we went illuminate during the first test, non illuminate during the second test. The final test should be illuminated. We're going to test between the line conductor and the earth bar. Least dangerous conductor first, which is the earth bar. Most dangerous second, the instrument is illuminated. Off the line connection, off the earth bar. Reproving the supply polarity is correct before continuing on to do our live tests. The supply is in correct polarity, we're gonna have issues further down the stream as we're testing live elsewhere in the circuit.